What's up guys, I'm about to head to Walmart and look for the new mystery power box which has graded cards inside. Hopefully I can find one at one of the few Walmarts around me. If not, it's gonna suck, but we're gonna be looking, so uh, let's go. All right guys, we made it to the first Walmart. Hopefully this is the one that has the graded boxes so we don't have to go anywhere else, but I doubt it. Some sleeves. That's not what we're looking for. Fortnite. Let's go. Number one victory royale. No luck in the first Walmart. They had an empty mystery cube and sleeves. That was it. So, not looking too good so far, but we got, I think, three more total in a semi-close range. So, we're going to be checking those out. Walmart round two. Here we go. Let's see if we can find one or something, anything Yu-Gi-Oh at all. That'd be great. We'll see. I don't know. Not feeling too good. That counts Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This is as close as I'm getting the cards. We got Dark Side Dimensions and Pokemon. Well, they said it was in electronics. I looked for 15 minutes. There was nothing. Like, not even a hint of cards. So, definitely nothing in there. We're going to have to go to the next one. Round three. I have high hopes for this one. I hope there's something, like anything. Like, just a couple of packs. Like, it didn't even have to be the mystery box. Just come on. Oh, this is nice. I'll take that. That's cool. Winder. Oh, interesting. I've never seen these here before. Oh, we missed goes for the last two. More structured eggs. You can get MetaZoo. That's the wrong mystery box. We don't want MetaZoo. We want Yu-Gi-Oh. Huh. Well, we finally bought something at least. Two structured eggs. That's not really gonna help our opening though. Fourth Walmart's our last chance. Walmart number four. We have so far found two structured eggs, MetaZoo mystery boxes, sleeves, and an empty mystery cube. Been pretty successful so far, I'd say. Now let's see if we can find that mystery box we're looking for. We got a couple of packs. These were $8 each though, so that was a little bit insane, but at least we got something out of our four Walmart trips. Not much, but something. Whew, this is pretty rough. We got a Secret Forces. This was $8, by the way. Uh, yeah, insane. Then we got another Secret Forces, also $8, so that's gonna be tough to break even on that one. We did get a Fusion Enforcers, Alistair, baby. Let's go, Let's see if that'll focus. There we go, eight bucks as well. So yeah, I paid over 40 bucks for five packs. Here is another Fusion Enforcers. That's actually kind of cool. And then our last Last pack, a third Fusion Enforcer. So nothing too insane, $43 for that. So this has not been a successful Walmart trip. If you do want those mystery boxes, hit me up. I'll buy them from you. All right, guys, we are back in the studio. We have our five packs that we found. Yeah, five packs. And then we have our ghost from the past two that we got from Frontline Games. So uh, we're gonna have a few things to open, but not as successful as the trip as I would have liked. 
before we get any farther into this video, I do have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these two mini boxes of Ghost of the Pats, the second haunting. This was from the same mini box that we got red eyes. So you could get a second one because that actually is a possible thing. All you have to do to enter that is like this video, be subscribed. Let me know what you think about the vlog-ish, like searching for cards type videos. If you want to see more, let me know below. All right, let's crack this thing open and let's see what we got from Frontline. One thing I don't miss at all about opening these is the packaging. It is insane. It is crazy. With all the live streams, it took me forever to actually open all those up before the live streams. But this has been sitting at Frontline since Wednesday. I was supposed to get it on Wednesday. I totally forgot about it because of all the live streams. So if it has a ghost right in here, I'm going to be kicking myself. It's just been sitting there. Chaos Grepper. So not in that one. Okay, we don't have to kick ourselves yet. I also do have this extra pack. This was the last pack when we got the red eyes, and I didn't open it. So we're going to open this up real quick. A little bonus pack here. Let's see what we can get. Okay, that didn't have anything. Master Flare Hyperion. Let's open up one of our five $8 packs. Let's see if we can get our money back. We're going to need like invocation or something. It's going to be pretty tough. What in the world is going on here? Uh, is this taped? Hello? I think it's taped back together. What in the world? Did I get scammed over here? Let's go. Let's see what we got. So uh, trap tricks. Yeah, okay. Some, some random stuff. Did we get scammed? All right, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully not. At the Walmart. These were... I forgot it's at the front. That's a cool card though. Okay, Fluffle Penguin, Owl, Predator Plant, and Miracle Fertilizer. I do like this card, Secret Rare Invoked. Of course I like it. That was at the Walmart where they were behind the counter. The first time I've ever actually seen that from where I'm from, which is interesting. So I was like, okay, all right, interesting. But uh, that's weird that that was taped together. Number 97, that's worth like a buck, I think. Very cool. Yeah, so uh, it, was a, it was an interesting trip today, guys. Very interesting. It was fun to drive around, but not a lot available. Dramaturge, that's another good card. Galaxy Soldier, another good card. We'll have Cyber End. I finally, guys, I went through all of my bulk of like the 12 and a half cases that I opened for the cards, like a dollar, two dollars. Took like four hours. It was very, very long, but it's still worth it. When you open that much, you need to sell the one to two dollar cards to help get your money back. And that's part of the reason why I did it. Dark Alligator, very nice. Aditi Necro Slime and the Plunder Patrol Ship Bring. All right, all right. I was really hoping to find that mystery box, but if you guys do have one or you have, you've seen a bunch at your Walmart and you don't want them, you could help pick me up that'd be, or pick them up for me. That'd be great. Skull Knight, this card's worth nothing. I thought it was the whole time I was opening it. Not really worth anything, like 38 cents. A couple more packs. We're going to open one of those special $8 packs over there, which realistically, those are probably like worse than Ghost from the Past 2. Adventure Ritual Art, cool. <laughs> girl all righty thank you very much frontline games shout out to my locals for selling me one display i left it there four days late i finally went and picked it up and there's a dark magician girl in there the best ghost rare from the set and even though the prices are going down this one's still holding pretty fast around like 300 plus dollars almost 400 that's our 40th ghost rare too we've pulled 40 ghost rares from the set just, just process that that's insane all right that was worth it that was worth it okay once again shout out to the locals that yeah i went in there look these are literally they literally sold me these for eight dollars look at this look at this they're open okay but yeah i went in there and uh i walked in and i was like uh hey sorry about being uh, four days late to pick up my stuff and the, the guy who was working there was like i'm a huge fan of your channel and i was like thanks man actually i don't even think i said i think i just like went like knuckled him or something i'd never seen him working there before but shout out to the guy at frontline games who said he was a fan that's actually pretty cool sacred phoenix but yeah then we picked it up it turns out it had a dark magician girl in there it just been sitting there waiting to be open You'll love to see it. Ah, I gotta stop opening this. They're always in the front. Ritual Beast Ulti Apelio. That's pretty good. Oh, well, I think it's good. I don't know if it's actually good. Altitude Knight. That's not the uh, the Dawn Knight. or No, what is he? Dusk Knight? No. What's the guy who you dump a dark and is used in the dad decks? I can't remember. I don't know. So Walmart basically ripped me off, charged me $8 for packs that were like not even sealed. So that's great. But then my locals came in clutch. That's why you buy from your locals. Quintet, very cool. Quintet's actually like, I think over a dollar. I sold a bunch of stuff on my TCG player store, which is Ruxin, if you guys want to ever check it out. Woo, a lot of shipping, guys. We put in a work shipping those cards. So we got a Lura J, the Bar Borland. Okay, Borland, Vampire Sucker, and Vishuda. It's a different kind of opening when you know you only have one display. It's a little more exciting when you get those ghost rares. Not that it wasn't exciting in the live streams, because it was, but when you only have one display and you pull a ghost rare, I'm sure you guys can relate with this a little bit more than the way that I open them with like a million packs. Sandwich Majesty, Hyperion, another good one as well. And speaking of ghosts from the past as well, Sassiato still does have some displays. I think he's actually stocking more cases cases soon so if you guys want to use ruxin gftp you can get five percent off there and that supports me as well which is really awesome dark magician the dragon knight very cool yazi and track black 
And if you do go to TCG Player, you don't have to buy from me. You can use my TCG Player affiliate link to support me as well by buying anything with the link in the description, which is pretty cool. Rookie Warrior Lady, we've got the Vision Hero Ferris. Man, this is a great display. That's another like two and a half dollar card. We will take that. Not a cr lot of crazy valuable cards in this set, but there are a bunch of fairly valuable ones. So pretty cool. We got in oh, an AI Reborn or an A Idol Reborn. Okay. Uh, this one was also not completely sealed, which is interesting to watch cat very very nice love to see it all right the secret is at the front wait is it gonna okay gotta do a pack trick here gotta remember not to ruin it okay fright for wolf fluffle penguin the fluffle owl preta plant fright for tiger pretty cool card i think it might i mean i think it's over a dollar so it's therefore worth something to me just kidding all cards are worth something especially chocolates I can hear the comments now. What about Bucanio Moss? I think you said Millennium Shield was your favorite card. All right, okay, look. There, it's a three-way tie, okay? Tatsu Necro, we got the Protector of the Moon, the Tinny Spirit, and the Rare Fish. All right. Give us something good, guys. Give us something epic. It was weird. Like, I, I live streamed three days in a row, guys, so it felt so weird to actually make a video. It's been so long. I was like, oh, what, what do I even do now? Like... I've just been live streaming every day. It's the life of a streamer. You stream, you don't make videos. The Sanctuary in the Sky. We've got the Fossil Machine Skull Convoy and the Hornet. Very nice. The Agent of Mystery. Well, they do, but they do it like during the stream or whatever a lot of the time, Which is different. Different. For me, at least. Doppel Warrior. Let's see if we can get another ghost. Chronicle Magician. All right, that's pretty cool. And the Vampire Sucker. Secret Force Attack. This one might be the first one that's actually not open already. Oh, that was fun. Cards flying everywhere. What did we throw? Vision Hero Trinity. I mean, I think that might be an okay card. Put that aside. Okay, pretty cool. Nothing too much there. Let's go to Secret Forces. Remember the Secret Rares at the front. Do not forget. Do not forget. Do not forget. I didn't forget. See that? You just got to keep saying it. Vanity's Emptiness. Emptiness. Good card. Card card D. We got the Advanced Ritual Art. Another good card. That one's in Ghost from the Past too as well though. The Yosinji. 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 And then another comma three. Very cool. A few more packs in his opening. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what you liked about it, what you think you would like even more. You know, maybe if you have suggestions for these kind of videos that would make it even more interesting for you, let me know and I'd like to see those. Can we get another ghost? You can get two from the same display. So let's see. Venus, we got a Galaxy Soldier again. That's very, very good. We will take that. No Louver so far, but I am down to pull one now. How about that? Three packs left in the display out of 20. Dede Savant Copernicus, the Heavenly Dragon, a Fossil Warrior Skull Knight, not a good card. Well, I mean, it's not, not, a, it's not a bad card, it's just not very valuable. Okay, two more Ghosts from the Past, and then we have one more Fusion Enforcers. Let's do the Ghost, well, one Ghost from the Past, then we'll do Fusion Enforcers. Number 38, this is a good card. Oh, and a Heat Soul, another good card. We'll take that. That's one of the best cards at like three and a half dollars. On to our final $8 pack. Have we pulled a good card out of these yet? I, not like a good card. We pulled like a couple okay cards, which means like two bucks or one dollar. But we've not pulled a good card yet. Okay. Deep Sea Entry, Thunder Dragon. We got the Dogmatica Nexus and Gravity. This is the bad Dogmatica that nobody cares about, which is really old. kind of funny. Let's do it. Fusion Enforcers, do not ruin it at the front. Come on. Don't ruin it. Don't forget. Let's go. Give us... Oh, one fire. Cool for Edison. Battle Fusion. A boring inch. The Summoner Monk. And... Ooh, Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon. I think it's a couple bucks. It's not too bad. We'll take it. And the final pack of the video. We pulled Dark Magician Grow Ghost. So not really too mad. Uh, we are going to be doing one more Ghost from the Past video against Rhyme Style. I think that's probably our last one, but we'll see. Can we get something good at the end? Master Flare Hyperion. And that is it, but that's okay. When you pull a DMG out of one display, that's totally worth it. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos like this. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Vivek Echo, Daxter, Yamusa, Junior Barney, Anana Tai Show, JT Cho, David FJ, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Josh Evans, and John Nolan. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.